The bills filed this week at the Capitol include everything from leaving your car running while you're not inside it to raising the age of consensual sex in the state to providing more access to mental health services. Cars have changed a lot since the 1940s. They're much more modern and their brakes work differently. Their parking brakes work differently. We have remote starts these days. And so I, it's just time to update the statute. Senate Bill 47, followed by Justin Boyd, would repeal the law that prohibits leaving your vehicle running while unattended. Boyd also filed Senate Bill 40, which would exclude fentanyl test strips as drug paraphernalia. And this has the ability to potentially save someone's life. House Bill 1124 would raise the age of sexual consent from 16 to 17 years old. House Bill 1125 would prevent level three and four sex offenders from owning or operating drones, unless it's for their job. Senate Bill 60 would abolish what's called the panic defense. The bill would eliminate the defense in court for a violent crime resulting from a person learning about the victim's sexual orientation. House Bill 1131 would establish what's called Bentley's Law. If passed, a person convicted of homicide who was driving or boating while intoxicated would be required to pay child support to the victim's children. House Bill 1129, filed by Dr. Lee Johnson, would require Arkansas Medicaid and insurance policies to cover behavioral health services like counseling and psychological services in a doctor's office or an outpatient clinic. If you need an acute hospitalization, we're going to find a way to get you help. But if you're someone that can safely be treated in an outpatient setting and discharged to home, we want to make sure we have the ability to get those services in and get those people that are providing those services paid. Some uh, insurance pr companies provide a pathway for that, some don't. So this bill just clarifies that this is something people need and we need to make sure we're paying for it. The bills that we just mentioned will now head to committee hearings and there's still a long way to go before any of them could actually become law. Of course, we'll let you know what happens. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.